Hey, what's going on guys? EXO coming at you today with an update, a system update. My system, the sound streams. Man, I've been getting some messages about people wondering what's going on with my install. Well, just to let you know, we've only had like four days of decent weather this year, so that's why I haven't been doing much with my system. Man, we got snow, friggin' cold weather, and not to mention I got a little problem with my dust cap on my passenger side sub. Just gotta get some CA glue, go around the edges, and we'll be all set. So there's some reasons why I'm not doing videos of my system, but to tell you the truth, what's the point when I got like 20 gigs of uh, Spring Break Nationals videos? And uh, when I'm meeting all these people, you know, they see me with my camera and stuff, you know, they're like, oh man, he's making a YouTube video. Exactly. So I'm going to post them up on YouTube. I can't just keep them all for myself. So if you're one of those people who wants to see more of my system, well, just give me a little bit. I got some stuff to do, then we'll be rolling clean. But uh, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a brief walkthrough. So I'm going to cut the frame to outside right now and uh, give you guys who don't know much about the system after the Ascendant Audio Mayhem that was sent from Steve. Um, just give you guys the whole full rundown and information and stuff like that. And uh, for those of you who already know what's in my system, well, looks like you got something a little special to watch anyways. All right, this is EXO signing off. Got some more Spring Break Nationals videos today. So, uh, all right, talk to you guys later. Let's go outside and check out that system, shall we? All right, let's do this. EXO's van coming at you. We're going to start from the front, work our way up. Um, excuse me, start from the back and work our way up. DC power alternators, sound stream. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, open this right up. You're gonna notice something a little funky with my end caps on my amplifiers, especially the left one. That's just because I was doing a little bit of tuning, so, so don't mind that. The uh, crossovers and stuff are located underneath those caps, so I had to do what I had to do. Got the Y splitters. These are two TX1 2600Ds from Soundstream, obviously. Uh, I'm running at actually four ohms with box rise. They're wired up to one ohm, but when I start to play music and stuff, I rise incredibly. Here's the rotary fan that I made with the two PC fans, and also that little uh, Walmart gadget that I got for like five bucks. And um, let me just give you guys a rundown on why I said four ohms here. Just one second here. Okay. The things with subwoofers and boxes and stuff is that when you're when it's all said and done, your impedance isn't exactly what it says when you start to play your music and when you start to do tones and stuff. Um, it actually rises. That's why you hear this term thrown around called box rise. It's very important. So me and my buddy clamp this stuff. So that's why I know I'm only getting a thousand watts per sub right now. I'm running these things at freaking four ohms with box rise. Damn. All right. So once I get two more amplifiers, I'll be able to drop that impedance wicked low and then finally get some damn power out of them. Those right there are fuses, 250 amp fuses. Obviously there's two of them. And then working our way down with the zero gauge, we got the, at the moment, just six. There's a little spacer here because I took out some to release some of the weight this winter. Half inch, whoops, half inch copper bus bars all the way around, sitting pretty. And uh, this wire, man, I've gotten so many comments about this wire. This is just a welding supply wire. Um, has the most, um, you know, the highest rating that I could find. So I decided to get that. And those are all going down to the to the frame of the car. All those grounds, every single one. Then there's also two more on this side going to the frame of the car. So there's a very solid connection. And pr that's pretty much all for the back. Again, I'm running about uh, one ohms um, before rise and about four ohms after box rise. And let's go ahead and close this up. Oh, here's the rear view. Uh, I mean the backup camera there that goes to the center command center. These are all fiberglass, fiberglass birchwood. I had a little problem with some window flex and some severities of wanting to break. Then we got the Soundstream Triple X. Oh boy, two of them actually. Two Triple X 18s coming in real good. They sound amazing. I really enjoy the box that was built. This is Dave the Box Guy. I painted it. Um, Dave the Box Guy Construction, really great. And then coming into the, excuse me, I got a little shaky here. Coming into the center. Ah! Coming into the center, we have two voltmeters. You can get these on eBay for like five bucks. I'll make a little video about that. Got the switches for obviously the backup camera. The voltmeter switch right here. It broke off because they're cheap Walmart things. Amplifier, which also turns on the BX15. This is just my way of having my own, you know, bass knob. You know, it's nothing too, too special, but it gets the job done. It actually gained me like a dB and a half. And, oh, let's look at the roof. We're going to get some Audio Technic Sound Deadener on there. That's another one of my sponsors. Good guy over there. He's hooked me up with 50 squares. So I'm going to get the roof and the doors done. 
And uh, so yeah, there's the subs box. There's the PCS five and a quarters in the center command center. Looking pretty good. I just wanted something to down there. Ah, so when I open my doors, I can hear it. So like the sound, the sound comes out here. So uh, it's not so muffled. Let's go ahead and pop that. And give you guys a look under the hood. All right, this is going to be the big three. For those of you who don't know what the big three is, I'll probably put a link to my other video or post another video about how to do it. All right, this is going to be difficult. I got to friggin' prop up my hood while holding a, a camera. Well, maybe I won't. All right, here's my, uh, here's what I'm working with underneath my hood. That's all going to the back. The ground's on that side. And then the uh, positives, obviously, on there. Negative to engine block. That's what grounds the alternator from the casing. And those are all both just going to the back. And then, obviously, the DC power alternator right there. Very powerful, amazing alternators. You guys gotta check them out if you're looking to get some high power system. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Again, um, bear with me on doing some demos here. I got some stuff to do before I'm 100% rolling and clean. Uh, I, this is the first day of good weather we've had in a long time. Look at the snow, the remnants of what were. You guys remember my little igloo that was right here? This was actually the entrance of my igloo. So there's a big reason why I haven't been able to be very active with my van. Friggin' Maine. I live in Maine. We got like six months of death winter. All right, guys. EXO. Just getting saying, uh, saying hello, giving you guys an update on the system. All right. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. More Spring Break Nationals videos coming up. We got the Jesus Beats Christian Car Audio Club and uh, some other things you guys might really like. So I'll talk to you later. All right, EXO signing off.